Got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with me, switch. So what's good YouTube? Coming to you again with another video and today I have a seafood boil. I really really been craving seafood like crazy. It's expensive. Jamal hate it. Hate me buying it. But I ain't been on camera in a few days because I've been cooking up other stuff. If you've been a long time follower you know that I have that when I first went out of work, I had started a boutique. Um, that boutique was clothing um, because after I had Grayson, I had got so huge and I was just like, let me start a boutique for women that experience this um, and stuff like that. And basically now I'm still at my, I'm at my weight before or I lost all my weight from my weight and so I'm at my that weight again and you know I'm back feeling you know sad about it not sad I'm not sad about it it's just that I'm just disappointed that I'm experiencing that again and until I get my mindset you know into where it needs to be And so I get my mindset to where it needs to be to lose weight. I'm going to still, you know, be here. I have some cranberry juice on the side. So, it's nobody's fault. It's just me. And, um, I just have to get my mind together. Hold up, y'all. So, yeah, I really do like this, like when people write me about logos and they never, like, they don't know what they want. And it's like, they think just because you, you're doing the logo, like you're supposed to brainstorm for them. It's okay. I thought my camera wasn't moving. And that's not the case. I'm not supposed to dream your business. <laughs> you have to know what you want, you know? So, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. It is so good. This is a huge. Nah, they ain't got to give me this big old potato. Mm, mm. 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 But let me do my thumb. Oh. Now I need something. Anyways. But yeah, okay. I felt a little better. But yeah, y'all. So going back to what I'm doing, my business now. I'm actually going to be doing like girly accessories. I got um lip glosses. Um necklaces um yeah that's pretty much what i have right now i'm gonna be relaunching re on my birthday um so it's gonna be one of 28th and i'm gonna be relaunching on 28th and it's gonna be my birthday so I'm looking for 28 <clears throat> orders that day. 
for my birthday. So if you want to support, support. My IG is no shame boutique. No shame underscore boutique. I have hot and that it is hopefully I reach my goal that day that's gonna be amazing if I do if I don't it's trial and error y'all you know everybody ain't gonna support that's what it is Anyway, I'm gonna pop them out. Shout out to all my new subscribers. <clears throat> I joined this group, <clears throat> and people have truly, truly, it's a group where. Black people support, of course. And I asked them to support my YouTube channel, your Instagram. I think I gained like 20 people on YouTube, over 100 plus people on Instagram. So, welcome. I hope you continue to watch. I gotta get to one um, thousand. One, I was about to say one million manifest. <laughs> At least I can't wait. I get to one million. You don't know how to act. I ain't gonna know how to act with no one million people watching me. They have a sauce that's blazing. I want to try it, but the work is getting. I was like, is it really hot? She was like, uh, yeah. I was like, okay. But yeah, y'all, this week too, we started our summer camp. Just a minute. Jamal did a summer camp before. I wasn't a part of it. I was working. Mm. I put a new people Jamal is my husband <laughs> but yeah we um we started this home account together and this is day two First day, my body was so sore. My mom didn't call me, y'all. But first day, my body was so freaking sore. Oh. Yes. Huh? Glad you know. <laughs> Don't hate. I think. But yeah, y'all. Anyways. Um. Ooh. It got a lot of sauce on there. I wish I could see it close. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. <clears throat> but. I don't know what I'm talking about. But y'all, um, oh, the camp. This is our second day. I've been sore. 
I went out air without air for two days. Cause Jamal tried to tell me the air was on. And I know it wasn't. And then he's gonna say today. Oh yeah, your unit, the heat was on. Now I'm trying to figure out why Carson's so cranky, why I'm so cranky. We up in there with the heat on. Why everybody else room cold, feeling good. Our room hot. We in the hot box. It was a hot mess. But everything going so good. We getting kids daily. Got some more coming tomorrow. So, mm -mm. everything is going amazing. For real. It's a little annoying. With my kids there. But I'm trying to get past it, y'all. It's just three months. I keep telling myself it's day two, but it's three months. I got three months to go. So So yeah. So I just keep telling myself and just keep pushing every day because every time you think you can't do something I'm telling y'all you your body your light you will shock yourself you know all right I know there's so much stuff I want to do in life. And I feel like as long as I keep starting stuff, not giving up, trial and error, pushing forward, and like everything just going to, one day, I'm going to just wake up and this stuff going to be memory, you know? This stuff is literally going to be memory to me. And I, I can look back at. I can look back on YouTube and be like. I said that that was going to be a memory. I said that I was going to do that. And I bust my behind to do it. Like My kids won't have to want for nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important to me. Leaving them everything, you know? But they don't have to revert to the streets. Not saying they can't. But I know I did all I can do for them to not have to, you know what I'm saying? But you know, kids, you just don't know how people <clears throat> turn out. I just hope they turn out like me. But, um... Ten times better because I came, you know what I'm saying, from the hood. You know I'm and a lot of people just down me. Oh, you went to that school? Like, you must be like this, or. Basically, trying to, you know, put me as, as a product of my environment. And. Granted, I never forget where I came from. And who I am today 
if I would have went different ways, yeah, I probably would have ended up a product of my environment. But I didn't. My kids stay nowhere near close to where I'm from. And when they was born, they did. They don't know they stay to exit up. But God put us in spaces where we can put them in better school districts, better better environment, better um, neighborhood. Because our life is destined to be, you know, our life is really destined. And I believe that. You know? Like, as I'm talking right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff is shifting. So, we good. Y'all yeah, see me looking this way. <clears throat> it's because of a window right there. And there's nothing but the next person's house. But because it's a window, it makes me look, it'll make me look that way for whatever reason. I don't know why. So. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to save this for tomorrow. Actually full and tomorrow I'm gonna want seafood too. And I know Jamal ain't gonna buy for me. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and log off. I'm sorry this video was like dry. I feel like I'm just tired. Uh, excuse me. Uh. But yeah, I just feel like I'm tired so... My body is like, Ugh. but yeah, I'm sorry. I started my boutique back up. Make sure y'all shop with your girl. Just shop with me. Y'all yeah, gonna have to take this out of the bag. <laughs> well, let me add it. This is the only thing about seafood. You gotta put a thousand things around because you don't want nothing falling. Clean up my little foolery. 
Mm. But yeah. Again, I appreciate everybody that tuned in. I appreciate everybody that's new. My old people that's been supporting me for years on here. Shout out to y'all. Let me know if y'all like the podcasting. I haven't done podcasting in like a week. But I got one coming up. I'm going to do about, I always be saying, um, about women becoming the best, people becoming the best version of themselves. And I was like, I need to explain what that means. Like, to me. What it means to me. So, yeah. Mm-mm. So, I'm going to do that. And, yeah. Make sure y'all check out my podcast. It's below in the link in the description. And it's mainly about relationships and stuff. So if you don't want to hear the true facts about relationships, motherhood, um, what else? I talk about relationship, motherhood, um, friends um i just did one on being real with your friends and um what else like just stuff like that like just real life if you don't want to hear about stuff that people are afraid to talk about don't go there don't check out my podcast i'm telling you like because honest I'm honest on there and it's my it's my place of peace where I talk my spit you feel me like I really talk it on there and um yeah it ain't necessarily about nobody it's just about stuff I've been through well it could be about experience stuff from other people or like it's just really like realistic situations that people are afraid to talk about and I don't care talk about so I'm trying to straighten up my room yeah cause this is our guest room I just have my junk in here so. I'm prolonging this video because I don't feel like cutting off the camera I'm tired now so yeah <clears throat> trying to straighten the room back up too <sighs> so it can look like a guest room we got company coming soon I had to clean up in here clean it down but yeah anyway y'all I'll catch y'all later let me get rid of my peace